guys, uh, first off, congratulations on your new film, uh, Project Power, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So uh, quickly, guys, besides work, uh, I, I'm curious to know, what have you guys been doing during this whole pandemic, during the last couple of months? And can you tell me what superpower you wish you had to use during these difficult times that we're living right now? Uh, let's start with uh, Dominique. Um, I've been learning piano, and I've been virtually, and I've been taking singing virtually. Um, I started writing a novel that I've been wanting to write, and I'm finishing a, a pilot that I was writing. So I've been keeping busy in terms of writing. So it's nice. It's nice when you're a creative because you don't have to go as stir crazy if you didn't have that kind of uh, outlet to do when you're in a house. Um, uh, the power, the power that I would have right now, if I could have one, I would be able to. I don't know if if it wasn't just five minutes, I would be able to eliminate the co um, eliminate COVID and just <laughs> have it never happened. So how how yeah. about you, uh, Joseph? And that's really impressive, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've just been trying to focus on gratitude and I feel really grateful that I have a place where I can stay safe and my family's healthy and I'm healthy and yeah, trying to stay creative every day um, and uh, collaborate with people even though we can't collaborate in the same room. Um, been spending a lot of time on Hit Record. That's a community I started with my brother years ago. It's all about creative collaboration and it's really been been very handy in this time where we, we can't be in the same physical space but on hit record we've been we've been doing that for years actually people making art together that are that are all over the world and um what let's and you said what well if i had a power That's that could help power, i mean yeah. i mean i'm I just trying to heal people there's so many people that are sick that are dying <laughs> if if, if i just that that would be the obvious choice for me if if I could try to help people. I know what it's like to lose a loved one, and it's it's the greatest tragedy. So if, if there would be anything I could do to help, I would. So uh, Joseph, man, I gotta say you you always have like the best action sequences in films. I mean, the musical beat in <laughs> the days of summer, the rolling hallway in Inception. So I, I, I'm curious, could you name me what action sequence that no, that's not yours from uh, any of your favorites or or classics? that you wish you could have been a part of? Mm. Oh, wow. An action sequence that's not mine uh, that I wish I could have been a part of. Okay. Um, well, um, <laughs> there's this <laughs> supermarket scene in Project Power. The uh, the supermarket scene with, with yeah. Jamie and Dominique and it, I mean, it's it's brutal. It's It's a pretty violent action scene, but Jamie's hilarious in it the whole time. And like, I, I just, to me, that's one of my favorites is when you can blend action with comedy. If I'm like thrilled watching an action sequence and laughing at the same time, that's just, that's kind of golden. And Jamie does it so well. And uh, yeah, so I don't know, maybe, maybe that. That's a cool pick too. Uh, Dominique, uh, I gotta say my favorite rapping of the year so far has been by the cast of Hamilton, but Seeing your work as Ramen, you you're right up there right now. So can you tell me a little bit. Can you tell me a little bit about how you prepared for the role. Did you enjoy it, this part of, of rapping, and and was it fun or was it challenging? Actually, the first Broadway um, musical I ever seen was In the Heights by Lin Manuel Miranda. So you know, um, I've awesome. been a Hamilton fan, been a Lin fan. The first time I saw In the Heights, I said, "Oh, that's my language. It reminds me of my neighborhood. I'm from Brooklyn." Um, I speak in slang, I speak in spoken word. And so to see that on a Broadway stage meant, oh, there's actually space for me, I do fit. Um, so that was so that was already, I really leaned into my spoken word poetry and it's always been a part of me. So uh, getting the chance to to do rap with Robin wasn't, it didn't feel like a challenge in that sense. It just felt like, um, it felt right. It felt like it fit. It felt like it was the next step to what I've been wanting to do with my own spoken word. I'm learning piano. And I always wanted to add piano to my spoken word. So it just kind of thrust me into something that I've been kind of dragging my, my feet about. You you guys, you you were great in the film. And Joseph, too, before letting you guys go, uh, Joseph, uh, Inception, uh, it's the 10-year anniversary mark. So uh, congratulations on that. And it was Thanks. one of my favorite films. How do you feel about that, about knowing that a film that's yours, that you, you were a part of, uh, still resonating, still talked about, so beloved by fans around the world? uh years after how do you feel about that uh just back to gratitude i all i could be is thankful you know i just feel really lucky uh thank you guys for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me congratulations again and guys stay safe take care adios thanks a lot adios